This is the first tutorial of many auto tutorials, which is a coding program. And first off, you're gonna need to get auto it. So you can just type it in Google, or I'll provide a link. So you just click the first link, go downloads, and then you'll see that there is multiple downloads here, quite a few. And one you want to get is you want to get the full one. Okay, so you can get this one or this one, but you really want this one though. Auto it's script editor, it gives you way more tools and stuff. It'll just be a little bit longer download. So get that install whatever you need to do. Okay, so then you can just right click, hit new, hit auto it script. I've already done that. You're done, you just double click, or you might not be able to double click, or else you'll try to run it. But there's a you can just right click and click edit because I changed my options. So basically, in the first part, I'm going to show you how to use the Coda form designer, which I'll open now to make a simple hello world script. Actually, no. We won't use it yet. So, <clears throat> first off, since we got the tools, we might as well use them and it'll make it way easier. So, we're going to open up Code Wizard. Okay, so we got Code Wizard. <coughs> then, we're going to just take a simple OK button. Actually, yeah, we'll take an OK button. And then you just enter a text. Hello world. Ew, uh. Okay. And you're gonna select your icon. You can preview it. That's what's gonna look like. Okay, and then you can just copy it. So here it is. Simple as that. So now look, we run it. There we go. <clears throat> now we can also make one where there's yes and no's. Oh, and there's way more. Okay, so as it says, do you like me? Answer yes or no. Copy that one in. Now this one it gives you cases so basically if something happens it'll do that so it this helps you a lot it says yes here so if the answer is yes I'm just gonna make a message box so it's just message box pretty simple and it gives you suggestions if the suggestion is highlights hit enter then you hit a bracket for the flag you can just put zero it doesn't well it does matter but oh here I'll show you what these mean you go, you just, this help helps a lot, just so you know. You go to message box, and we gotta find the message box in here. There it is. Okay. Now here it shows the flags. Basically, if you want a yes and a no. So basically, you just go to the decimal flags, that are down below which I'll move right now these things and if you want yes and no you so you just put on a 4 basically and that's pretty much it it just says it right there sometimes you may have to add the numbers together it's kind of a little simple okay so now for the title <clears throat> we say well we can put in whatever it doesn't matter see it gives a little hint down there where it's supposed to be uh, I'll just put yay. Thanks for liking. And for no, I'll just put another message box. Don't worry if it looks all out of order right now. Oh yeah, you can't put back. Never mind.
me sad. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's just it's a tutorial, so I don't like people who don't like me. Oh, and then if you put the comma which you use in between these things, and then you can add a timeout. So I'm just gonna add a five second one for this one. You'll make the message box close. So we still have this old message box that comes up. Then that little one will come up asking if you like me. So if I say yes, it say thanks for liking me. So now if we run it again, which by the way you just hit tools and then go. Then if I say no, I don't like people who don't like me. Now it should close. Yep, close that to five seconds. You can also hit F5 to to go, and then there's also a Zintex check prod. Make sure there's no errors. And then also, a tidy auto at source. It'll make it all aligned and good. See, this message box was way over here. Now it's moved over. There's also another way you can do stuff like this. So we're going to do message box. Put a flag. So I screwed up here saying that would be 13, so don't mind that, it's actually supposed to be 4. Be, um, do you like, do you like, and then I'm just going to put, okay, do you like, do you like to eat fast food? And we're not gonna have a timeout. Nah, I hope I'm doing this right. I've done this one for a while. Oh, sorry. Message. See, now this is a variable. The message, the little dollar sign, holds a value, which is we're holding a message box, and you just put whatever name you want beside it because that's what you're going to be using. So I'm saying if message, which is this variable, the message box, it. So I had a little mess up. So anyways, here's what it should look like. It should be a four for the flag. And the if statement, if message box equals seven, is out of the help file, the return value of no. And then the if message box equals six is the return value of yes. So you just put in the return value it says in the help file, which in my case is 6 and 7, and then you put a message box or whatever function you want there that you want it to be. And now I'm going to go over and hopefully show you the help file. <clears throat> yeah, no, so here's the help. So here's the help file. So your return is 6, no, 7. And so now we're just gonna test it out in a sec. Okay. So <clears throat> here we have it. So if I press yes, I like, I mean, no, I don't like fast food, it says yay, me happy. And if I press yes, I like the fast food, it says good for you. And now I for title. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please watch the other parts of how we're gonna do this using GUI, which is pretty interesting. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.